Have you ever wondered how lightning really works? Now you may have a vague idea about the general principle, but could you explain exactly what happens before you see a flash of lightning? Well, let's start by asking, what is lightning? Well, lightning can be defined as the neutralization of electrical charge separation between the cloud and the ground. And before we are able to see a bolt of lightning, however, many steps occur behind the scenes. In this presentation, I will explain those steps. First, I will explain how cloud formation begins the process of lightning. Then, I will explain the five stages of lightning that culminate with the lightning bolt. Now, in the first stage, electrical charges separate within the storm cloud. In the second stage, the Earth acquires a positive charge. In the third stage, two conductive paths are created. In the fourth stage, these paths meet, and in the fifth and final stage, the electricity is discharged in the form of a lightning bolt. Now the process that underlies lightning begins with cloud formation. When the surface of the Earth is warm, moist air near the Earth's surface becomes heated and rises. As it rises, the air cools, which produces an updraft. As the air in an updraft cools, Water vapour condenses into water droplets and forms a cloud. At high altitude, the air temperature is well below freezing, so the upper portion of the cloud is composed of tiny ice crystals. Eventually, the raindrops and ice crystals get large enough that they fall through the cloud, dragging some of the air from the cloud downward, which produces downdrafts. When downdrafts strike the ground, they spread out in all directions, which is the wind often felt before a lightning storm. These opposing updrafts and downdrafts create the first stage of lightning, which is called cloud charge separation. Positive and negative charges within the cloud are separated, with the positive charges at the top and the negative charges at the bottom. Now in the next stage, the Earth acquires a positive charge. This happens when the cloud charge separation is so strong that the strong negative charge at the bottom of the cloud causes the Earth's surface to acquire a strong positive charge, in the same way the opposite poles of a magnet attract. Now in the third stage of lightning, two conductive paths between the cloud and the ground are created, one headed from the cloud to the ground and one from the ground to the cloud. The path that begins at the cloud is called the step leader and is created by negative charges heading towards the positively charged ground. As the step leader approaches the earth, charges on the surface begin responding with a conductive path of their own, called a streamer, that is, a positively charged streamer. The fourth stage occurs after the negatively charged step leader and the positively charged streamer meet. The two paths have completed their journey. With this path complete, current will be able to flow between the earth and the cloud. Now the fifth and final stage is what we see as lightning. The strike is a sudden massive flow of electrical current moving from the cl cloud to the ground in order to neutralize the separation. Now, because there is an enormous amount of current, there is also an enormous amount of heat. This heated air causes the brilliant white-blue flash that we see. Now, in summary, remember, after the cloud is formed, the electrical charges in the cloud separate because of opposing upward and downward winds. Next, the negative charges on the cloud bottom cause the Earth to acquire a positive charge. In the third stage, two conductive paths are formed, a step leader and a streamer, and these paths meet. Finally, the electricity is discharged, producing the big bolt of light that we see in the sky. Now I hope you can see that there is undoubtedly more to lightning than meets the eye.